Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in to Smackle Vision. And we are back again with a very special episode of Minecraft Epic Structures. Today I'm going to be unveiling the mega build that we created here at, in the Vision City. It's basically the centerpiece of the world, the Smackle Vision headquarters. And this is just a just an amazing build. It's been done for a while. And as, if you guys have been watching, if you're a subscriber, you probably saw the 10k a video where I, this is the reward for getting 10k you guys are gonna get we're gonna get a detailed tour of here so and we're gonna get all inside but first i just wanted to give you a, an actual flyover so you can see the scale of it i mean it is huge you can see a couple of the other buildings that feature the sky garden towers and the ub drones in the background there and it's pretty larger scale than both of them i mean especially in size i mean it's almost the same height as or it is the same height technically with the tower as the ub drones but it's just mega girth. I mean, look at it, and it's uh, the the best part about this build is I think it was 20 offices. I think we got 20 offices in here filled. Or actually, I've got a couple vacancies, so 18, and I may save a couple for maybe possibly a contest in the future. Maybe a fan or a subscriber could get to come and fill out an office here at Spinkle Vision headquarters. And it's really cool, you know, when we did that, we got all these different people's, you know, I let them all personalize it. So it's like 18 totally different takes on how they would create their own personal office space. So we're gonna go to get to see that. And they all pretty much helped. I think everyone helped make this that was in here at least, or if they didn't help, they felt in the world. Um, and we actually created this fairly quickly. It was a, it was just an idea I had. I just came up with it at work one day. I was uh, doodling when I was on break and just coming up with a basic idea. And I just thought, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. So we, we started real quick and within three hours, it was pretty much the base of it. And then it was just a detailed grind for I don't know, a few weeks, just a little bit here and there and then letting people fill them in and out. And so we'll check it out. Like I said, this is basically like where Spankle Vision, you know, obviously it's Vision City's not real, but in our little Minecraft world, this is where we get all the this, this stuff done for the the Spankle Vision YouTube channel. Like I got a little recording studio. There's my office up top. Um, we'll check that out last. So we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna go down here. You can see when you come in to Spankle Vision headquarters, there's actually a street that goes right to the middle, which I like that a lot too. Um, we'll get in here but if you this this is my personal like private parking area i got a little security security office here um we've got our security guard that patrols the the grounds of spinkle vision and i got a couple personal limos over here for me and all the people that work here at spinkle vision in the in the city that have offices we got our own limos we can charter to go into town if we need to and we've got our own personal helicopter here uh, at Spangle Vision headquarters. We gotta be able to get in and out and travel across town quickly if we need to for business meetings or whatnot. So we've got a nice little chopper here. And I've got a tutorial on this helicopter. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description. And I've got a tutorial on these limousines. And I'll put that link in there as also. And we'll, as we go into the parking lot, I did the full circle. So it's a giant 360 degrees. You can swing through the lot as you can see and each each corner is the same it's got a little corner parking spots two rows and the, the center island with a nice little tree there you know and i spent i spent like i said quite a bit of time doing the detail work on this build and this is a cool little feature here ultra came up with the, the little s there on the side rails of the building just kind of goes with the theme this is something that just kind of came out and he created it. I was like, that's so awesome. And it just happened to fit perfectly. So just another little touch there to add to the spankle vision of the building, make it feel a little bit more like it should, like it would be representative of spankle vision. This guy's hauling a little trailer here. And um, I'll just put a link to the whole tutorial playlist as well, because there's several builds in here. All these vehicles you could find on uh, pretty much all of them on the tutorial playlist. So I'll make sure to put that link in there as well. And we'll go in to the middle here. So you drive down the street and here's where you would get into the headquarters. So what I've done is each, there's four main towers that comprise the building. As you can see here, the view is just epic. Um, and each one has two elevator shafts that go up through the, 
to the heart of the building all the way glass elevator shafts and what I've done is kept one closed and one open so you can you can traverse up if you want and you can go through the different floors um, you can stopping on each one to get to each office if you need to um, but I'm not gonna go through that way because it's I mean I don't feel like flying with my it's too hard to open the doors and everything with my whatever hood shut off right now so we're gonna fly around the outside but you can go through each to get each into each office through an elevator if you wanted to um, second floor you'd fly up and it's just basically like an observatory like break area commons um, if you just wanted to get some fresh air stuff out of the office you come down here on this floor you got a nice view of here you can step out on one of the these little pillars here these balconies and get a view of the city I originally was gonna put a monorail like attached to this but I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna possibly do that somewhere else in the future I was gonna have like a train pulling into here and all that but we just were running out of room and it was before the one transfer and I didn't know if we were gonna be able to do it and looking back it would have been nice to know I probably would have gone ahead and done it but um, it's still epic I mean it, it, I really like what the way it turned out we got these fountains down here at each atrium here too as you can see this is I really like this here plenty of detail and design maybe give you guys some ideas if you're looking to build something epic epic building in your uh, Minecraft world and this is another little seating area just little details like that we went back through and people were we came up with all kinds of cool ideas I think it turned out fantastic and we will go up we'll start the tour here we're gonna go ahead and get in Whose office is this? Oh, this is Studio 1A. It's a great place to start. Okay, so this is, if we come in here, if people want to come in, we want to do a commercial spot, or what's this here? I don't know what that is. Or, you know, you would take the elevator. See, there's the elevator I was telling you about. And I've actually got some that, the ones that are going up, they're actually filled with, with villagers. So each pillar actually has an elevator with people in it going up somewhere. I stopped like halfway or different, you know, random spots along the way. And, and that is what I didn't want to go through the building. So I'll just fix that later. So you'd come off the elevator and there's the SB for Spankle Vision. You come to the reception and say, yeah, I got to make a commercial. We're doing a radio shoot or video shoot or whatever it is. And here it is, Studio 1A. See, 1A. You come in. There's the guy with a little prop. He's doing the, the digital editing. We got our green screen camera set up. And there's some more. He's on the working the light boards or something maybe. Or he's just running audio. So if we got it all set up here at Spankle Vision, like I said, it's a... This is our headquarters, so we gotta have everything. So I stuck in the Studio 1A. I said that's a great, a great one to start. That's a lot of cool ideas in there too. I'm gonna go to the next office. Let's see who's over here. And look at this one. What do we got here? Psycho Meg 03. Okay, cool. Psycho Meg, they're from Texas. Her, her and Psychotic Rage are on here. They're from, her, I met them and they did. She did. Looks, uh, if I remember correctly like indoor but you're outside inside so it's like a, you walk into her office and you're actually I guess you got trees set up nice little cottage if you look up you got the sky and the sun and a little picnic table she got some mushrooms growing in here some giant mushrooms it's just like a nice little peaceful place inside the building if you wanted to take a break come down to Meg's little outdoor area here a nice little swing that's cool and just a little, there's our desk, yep. So, if you want to come do business, it's, it's pleasant doing business with psycho, Psychotic Meg. There you go. It's a nice little spot here, nice little fountain. She got a nice view of the of the interior as well. And like I said, every office, is I, they're all designed exactly the same, so everybody had the same amount of space. Good job, Meg. And some of these I haven't been in so long, I forgot what, I mean, what's even going on. I'm so fucking awesome. Office of Psychotic Rage. Okay, so here you go. This is Meg's counterpart, her better half, or her other half. I guess she would be the better half, excuse me. <laughs> so it looks like he's got some, makes some kind of oven or something going on out here. It's like a grill, nice little fire. 
when you get in here and he's got it skulled out. And here's another skull, kind of like that Punisher style skull. I like this. It's like the, uh, so you got lavas. Definitely got some skull theme here. It's quite the opposite of Meg's office. <laughs> well, that's where you'd come in. And up here, okay. It's, it'd be hot up here. We got the flames rolling. Judge Psycho's court. Okay, so it says the defendant and the plaintiff. Okay, so his office is set up. It's a court. All right, no, you don't want to come to this one. I guess that's the stenographer's desk or something. <laughs> Good job, Rage. See, that's what I like. I just let him go free. I said, everybody make what, whatever you wanted to make. And that'd be cool. I'm not even going to go to sleep because we've already seen the building. So the insides are fine. Oh, yeah. We got to have a rec area. So we got an indoor basketball court. Full court. So for the office, all the other office members, they want to come down and just shoot some hoops. Pretty self-explanatory. Really cool, I thought. Just nice use of the space. This isn't anyone's particular office, I just put that in, like I said, just for, it's kind of like the Studio 1A, everyone has access. Alright, so that's it for that floor. And this is JD Snake's office. JD Snake 99 he's been around for a while, I met him a long time ago, back in the 360. I haven't talked to you in a while, bro, you should get in contact with him again if you end up seeing this. JD Snake's office, Naga, okay. Whatever, guy. <laughs> Alright, he's got a creeper. JD, he's giving himself props. Nice little creeper face. I like the contrast of colors in here. I haven't been in here in a long time. We've got another creeper face. Looks like he's got some filing cabinets back here. Yeah. He's organized at least. That's good. And looks like he sits on a throne up here. Okay. <laughs> I guess you have to come bow before JD Snake to. Oh no, well, here you go. Never mind. Here's where he. We'll do business. I didn't see this. So. All right. I guess that's just where he sits when no one else is around. He's got a nice little ceiling fan. Good job, bro. All right, and we're gonna hit the next one. Who is this? Is what is that? That. Don't know who that is. Nice little picnic area here. In someone's office. Oh, let's see. You only get one life, so live it to the fullest. Yep, yep. Oh, Dada Bubba, what's up? So this is Bubba's office. You got a red creeper, so you technically come in right there. And it looks like he's got some steps going up. Let's see if you don't mark it, I won't know who it is. Aquarium. Wizards 31. I guess that's his somebody that works with him. Cabby 44. You're getting your shout out. What's this? Billy, Joe, Bob, David, Johnny Depp. <laughs> okay. I guess he collects heads. I don't. Okay. He's not here to explain himself on that one, but apparently he's a head collector. He's got a head on his desk, too. Alright, good job, Bubba. I haven't seen you all either. He made a good BMX bike. You should check it out on the Epic Structures list. Hit me up when you get one. And then next one, we got. Delta Leader? No, Delta Leader. Formerly Delta Leader. Now he's Jick or JYQX, whatever that means. Jicks. Jikes. That's it. I guess you could say it like that. Jikes? I don't know. So, ooh, looks like a some kind of like ancient monument in here. Got a little garden monument. It's cool. Nice little fountain here. So I just love all the different people's ideas. What's he got back here? Ah, I guess he sits back there. He's got a nice little overlook. I guess you can just hang out here and, you know, it'd be a nice place to work at least with a waterfall behind you, you know, get plenty of work done. No cramp there. And let's get in this last one. Who's is this? What is this? No mystery office. Huh? Is it really a mystery office? No one put their name down? Alright. Well, this is our first mystery office. I thought everybody, I told him to tag it. Now, who knows who made this? Somebody. Someone made it. <laughs> drop, a, drop a comment in the comment section, whoever made that. Alright, I think that's it. If we roll around, yep, JD, so we'll go right back, and 
I don't know whose is this. Let's see here. Looks like some trees going on. Another. Oh, I like it. I like how he's got the got the plants overgrown and hanging down here. There's another little garden take. It's just like basically what it is. It's like a garden. Kind of like that. And who made it? That's the question. All right. We shall never know. Another random garden. Oh wait, there's somebody. Oh no. Oh well. You had your chance to get a shout out. <laughs> All right, drop a comment in the comment section for that one too. We got two mystery ones. I'm curious to find out who made which. And what do we got over here? I don't know what that is. Our umbrella out there. Who, what do we got here? Football isn't a matter of life and death. It's much more important than that. Um, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say it's Chevis. Chevis in UFC. I'd be willing to bet on that one. Even though I don't see a sign, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> he's the only diehard football fan that I have. At least that with that diehard is more important than life and death. It must be. But I would think that he put his. This gotta be it. S. S. He's talking about football. We're gonna go with that. I'll let your shout out, Chavis. What do we got here? No Limit 36 office. What's up, No Limit? Sorry to get a drink there. <clears throat> got a nice little grill out here. A patio. Nice little. Layout, layout benches or whatever, painting benches. What is that, a Dell? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh, whose office is this? No limits, that's right, my bad. There's been so many, all right, no limits. That's his, his character, it's who he uses. He put his little face down. Is that there? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, this is his little, this is his lobby, so you'd come in here, you got a nice little grass waiting area. There you go, that's cool, it's different. Then you'd get your receptionist here, and you go in, he's got his employees down low. And then up here, Spangle Jank is the best. Oh, thanks, No Limit. So I'll take that. Great job on your builds. Thank you very much, sir. Great job on your office. You got a nice water cooler. You did a good job. Multiple desks. Nice feel. I like it. Got a library in here. Alright, and that one is one of the vacant ones. And so we've already gone there. Let's go to the next floor. And who is this? Another take on an outdoor grill. I kind of like that. So if you see some ideas along the way, you, you know, you could use any of these. It's a great play. I, I haven't desi designed any of these, or all these, excuse me. All right. Flying, or this must be Flying J22. This has got to be. Got to be his office. Yeah, Flying J22. And if you don't know who he is, he's an awesome builder. Um, in fact, uh, he's the creative force behind the Alice map that we're about to put up for download on the... SpangleVision.com website, so stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. We'll be having a tour and tons of other fun stuff on that. Don't want to reveal just yet, but just keep watching. And you'll see. And he did a good job in here. I like it. He's got a treadmill. Look, he's got his own basketball court. Cool. Long mini court. Nice and lit up. Yep, he used the uh, Midnight Lost Paradise. He's got the little motorcycle video game. I like it. Stellar office here. And that's his gamer tag, or his little avatar guy. He's the wolf, usually his skin. And he comes up to his desk up here. He's got a little Steve head. Future idea board. Poopy. All right. <laughs> oh, full of ideas. All right. You're a little short on him, I think, this time. And who do we got here? It looks like this is no one... F's with Batman, okay. And I think this is VGM Nick created this one. So this is we have the Batcave in the building. Yeah. Batmobile VGM Nick 760 design, which is actually pretty cool. Um, Batmobile design, actually, man. To be honest, I might even 
put that up on the tutorial list. I don't know. Let me let me know, know what you guys think. That's tutorial worthy. It's kind of cool, Batmobile. So yeah, he did the Bat Cave, and you can see he's got like like slime hanging off the ceiling. That's like a batarang or something. You know, if you use your imagination, these are all little weapons or just things that he's got and collected. The you know, it's Batman. He collects stuff. He's got all over his journeys and trip, and here's where his like computer board is and all that, you know, where you see him doing all his stuff. So I thought that was a cool take. I remember that when he made it. This is just, we have the Batcave here. We got everything at Swinkle Vision Headquarters. I like the little bat, the bat right there, the bat symbol, it's cool. Let you know that you really are at the uh, Batcave. And there's another vacant one. So we got two we could give up for, uh, I might do a contest where I'll let some subscribers get to move in to the Spangle Vision headquarters. That would be cool. Maybe I'll have a competition. Whoever the best builder gets to fill one in or something. Who knows? Stay tuned for that. Can't guarantee I'm going to do it yet. Alright. Looks like this. Somebody's got something cool going on. Got some arcade games. Cool. Another Moto GP. I like it. Nice little arcade board. I wonder who this is. I think it's Ultra. I might be mistaken. No, Ultra Billy 09, the dolphin, yeah, look at that. So he put a 3D dolphin on the on the wall, like the dolphin avatar, if you guys are the skin, I don't know which skin pack it is, like the beast and battle pack, I believe. And he did this, which I thought was awesome. So you come in, he's got like a T-Rex, look at that. And it really does look like a T-Rex, it's made out of just like basic cobblestone and steps and stuff. And I just think it looks really cool, so it looks like a... T-Rex bone statue. Another cool little feature here for the in the headquarters. I just love it. Everybody put their own little touches here and there. Made it unique to themselves. Let me go up here. Got another. Uh, this is. Oh, I guess this is his main office. Okay. He's got some Ender Dragon eggs. Does he have another step on the other side? Nope. So okay, that's it. That's. So Ultra's office, good job, Ultra. I like it. It'd be a cool place to work if you got some. That's like pool table or something. Snooker, I don't know. Or maybe you just grow mushrooms. I don't know. Is that it? We. Yep, that is it. So we're back here, and the the top floor, right underneath of uh, my office, I saved for the top four builders of the Spangle Vision world. These people put in pretty much the most amount of work besides myself, so I wanted to reward them with the highest level. So now we're in the, this is like the core builders here, so I can't remember. I want to say, oh this is Wolf, so we're gonna come from this side. I can't know which side I was on. Yeah, Mr. Wolf. Alright, so Wolf's been around for a while. Um, he's got his own YouTube channel. He's doing awesome Minecraft videos also, and I will put a link in the description to his YouTube channel. And he's actually, we're from the same town. We met on Xbox, which is really cool. Uh, we just happened to meet in a Minecraft lobby on just sheer chance. Um, so that's how he got brought in the fold. And I saw him building these statues, and I was like, man, this guy's building something kind of cool. So I just sent him a message, and We've been friends ever since, so we're gonna uh, wait. You come in his office, he's got some. I guess that's his receptionist. You sign in or whatever, wait back here, and he's got a nice open area. And there's his wolf skin and his desk that creepered out. He's got a nice little stereo system. And I guess that's a, a gun, a bullet, and a head, apparently. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. And another little waiting area here, so. And I want to give a special uh, sh uh, shout out, thank you to Mr. Wolf for all his help. Like I said, you guys should show some love. Go check out his YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, and help him get bigger, guys. Um, we can keep building some better, more awesome stuff. And let's go, who's over here? MadGod117, okay. And MadGod, I don't, I'm pretty sure I met him in Minecraft. Yeah, we did meet in Minecraft, it was quite a while ago, and he's one of the estate holders as well. Um, all four of the top tier players here are estate holders. That's the highest rank in Vision City that you can obtain. If you were to ever get to build in here, you, once you put enough time in and build enough stuff, you can build an estate. So these four guys have done it. Um, 
I've got a couple of these. I don't know if anyone else has. I think Flying J, that's right, has earned the right to build an estate. He just hasn't created it yet. So Mad God's office is a little strange. He's uh, It's kind of like Dr. Strange love when you come in. It looks normal right here. And then you go back here and you got like tanks inside the building. You got a giant bomb right above his desk. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to work under just a giant bomb. So we've also got a giant nuclear war, you know, it's a, maybe it's not, it's obviously not nuclear, but it's a, it's a several megaton bomb though. And it'll definitely do some damage. And out here he's also got, a, he's prepared, I guess this is our defense system. He's got anti-air guns. He's got a jeep just sitting up here. I don't know what it can do up here, but I guess maybe he's got a parachute. We can just push it off. And he's got a couple cargo crates of ammo. So we're prepared for an invasion at Spangle Vision headquarters as well. So don't, don't mess around, terrorists. We had to have some defense. Thanks for that, my God. And now we're dipping into the final two, and these are two people that have actually. I know these people in real life, personal friends for a long, long time, man. <laughs> Midnight Hoss. Um, he's got an awesome mini games map that we're gonna be putting on the website also on SmegoVision.com soon. Um, we're just doing some final tweakings to it. It'll be a while, but it's coming. Just stay tuned. Um, I'll do a video and review all that. It's a really awesome map, and there's actually a tutorial. Or he has a whole playlist. Um, that I'll put a, a link to that in the description of this video also. So there'll be tons of info that you guys might not have even known about that you might have missed if you're newer subscribers. If you just go back and check the links I'm going to put in the video, you might find some really useful information or see some really cool builds you didn't know about. So um, he's got his little face. He's always that little swimmer, like 30s swimmer guy. <laughs> so he's got like some curtains. Yeah, it's pretty. It feels like older school to me in here. Like it feels like an old library in Haas's office. So it feels like a big old library. And he's got a nice little chill spot, hot tub. Gotta have a hot tub. It's the first hot tub I've seen on the in the offices. So thanks a lot, Haas, for all your work. Oh, and thanks, Mad God. I didn't say thanks to you. Personal thanks to you. And here is Renault who is, you guys have definitely, if you don't know who Renault is, another personal friend of mine, and he's been, he's the creative force behind the amazing Star Wars map, which has been viewed, I don't know how many millions of times now, on Stampy's channel, and it's also a really detailed, um, several detailed views down on my playlist, and I'll, I'll put a link to that Star Wars playlist in the description of this video as well. And Renault is also doing his own YouTube channel. It is more geared towards advanced tutorials and he's just got some other special things he's still working on that are yet to come. Um, he's just getting started a few months back too, so if you wanna go show him some love, check out what he's doing, hit the subscribe button for him. And that'd be awesome. Um, but we're gonna go check it out in here. And I will put that link, like I said, in the description. So he's got his nice little feels uh regal when you come in like it's like i don't know like marble walls or something right here i like the colors oh i like that nice and it's a nice color design nice way to break out oh he's got his own board meetings this is where we'd come if he had he called up all the you know the people on the floors below to come up we need to have a board meeting nice little area here look at this look at you climb the mountain to, to come talk to ryan it's awesome We're sitting way up i love it I like that. We're gonna check this out right here. Oh, he's got his own um, garden outside. That's right. Oh, I love that, dude. Kind of blocks the city so you can actually just feel like he's outside here. It's a nice view. You got the best office for up here. You can look at Sky Garden Towers. Yeah, that's definitely the best view. It's so awesome. Of these four. I have the best view in my office. I'm sorry. And that's where we're headed now, but we're gonna go which way which way yeah we need to go inside i believe yeah let's go back this way okay so you have to be you have to exit an elevator in one of their offices and then come out to this um i don't know catwalk i guess you call that yeah and then so you have to get up to one of renault mad god or midnight hoss or wolf's offices and you'd come out here get in the special elevator you take it up to my office which that's what we'll check out now 
and then we'll be done with the tour. So we're almost there. And I got some cool ideas in here. All right, so you'd come in and right here is my desk. I like that, I forgot I did that up there. Put the little things in there. So you kind of, I just chill back here. If you want to come talk to me, this is where you do it. My main desk at least. Got my little laptop. I got some skulls propped up back there. I'm usually the skull avatar guy, but he's not on the um, Xbox One version, which sucks. The charity pack is gone. But anyway, I just got some standard filing cabinets, stuff like that. I got the SV for Spinnacle Vision. is matching over there. Uh, of course, I have my own mini pool up here. Why not? You know what I mean? I just got to take a break, you know. I'm running Spangle Vision headquarters, so why not, you know. I can afford it, right? Build whatever I want up here. So we got another TV area. You know, plenty of room so that if I can call the guys up and come, we can watch videos, watch YouTube videos or plans for the next thing. I even did like digital stuff in the back of the TV. So that's a really cool TV design too. It's like a shelving. It's a, I mean, it's a really huge TV. I don't even know if they make TVs that big, but it looks cool. And over here, I have a little pool table. So if we wanted to just shoot some pool, we could do that. Filing cabinets, stuff like that, bookshelf. And here's the main boardroom. So if I had people come in, we could do, you know, we plan for what we're gonna build. And here's our little plan board. We did the map too. So it's like, we could orchestrate while we're gonna go here and work. I thought that was really cool. Just a little idea board. Maybe those are some ideas we're gonna work on or who knows. And I think I did, yeah, let's go over here first. This is, yeah, just stuck in a bathroom real quick. Gotta have my own personal bathroom. I think I'm the only one that has a bathroom, so. Um, you guys can't use mine. Sorry, it's private. You guys are gonna have to go down the street to the McDonald's. <laughs> There's no one else made a bathroom, that's crazy. All right. I was the only one that thought that out, I guess. And I got one more little room. Wait, yeah. Over here, my gaming room where you, I come in if I want to make some YouTube videos. So I got my recording equipment, Xbox One in the back. You just sit down here, make some vids. Thought that was a nice touch, had to do that. And I got the little map here too, so I can see what's going on, keep an eye on things going on in the world while I'm up here making videos. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to go right out here. I didn't just knock that off, did I? Gonna go out here. And we're gonna fly. I mean, and this, I, I just really love the way this building looked, turned out. Thanks to everybody that helped. Um, it's just an amazing build. I, I still, every time I see it, it's just sitting over here, just like, wow, I can't believe we really built that. I mean, it's so big and it's so, I don't know, just amazing to me. It was a really proud build here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this this tour of the um, Spangle Vision headquarters and thanks to everybody. Thanks for getting me to 10k subs. Hopefully we can I'm on my next build is gonna have to be better than this So stay tuned for that. I mean, that's gonna be a tough one. So my next mega mega build at least excuse me I, ha I make regular small builds and then I have what I call mega builds. This is definitely a mega build So the next one will be better. So stay tuned for that I'm don't even know how I'm gonna do it, but we'll get there. And like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, I do appreciate you watching. We will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.